Hi guys, I forgot to turn the bloody microphone on again so I'm going to have to try and voice this over. As usual, the monitor that I'm looking at isn't keeping up with uh, what I'm having to talk about. So, uh, this is going to be a bit hit and miss I'm afraid. I'm in charge today, which sounds fancy but it's not really fancy. It's just because Wednesday and a friend Thursday have gone over to the north, they're staying in a hotel and they're going to get pampered for a night. Lucky. I've got no real idea where we are in the video uh, because the viewer isn't working properly at all. But I wanted to show you this little white cat. That's Fletcher. He's the sole survivor of a family of four kittens. Norman, Stanley and Fletcher and their sister Ingrid. The three others have all died uh, pretty young, pretty prematurely. Um, but they were really feral. Their mother died when they were young. This guy started to get a bit more friendly now, less afraid because he's, uh, he's hungry and he's cold at night. So he comes in and he sleeps on that green blanket every night now. Um, it's nice to have him around. All these kittens, uh, they're telling me they're starving, but they've had lunch as well. They've got biscuits all day, so I don't believe them. I've got to try and work out a way where I can feed the big cats and tempt the little cats into their little penitentiary. Well, they, they have to live at night for their own security. It's for their own protection. If we don't shut them in, they end up playing on the road and they'll end up getting killed. There's no real problem getting the kittens in, inside. They, um, they're quite hungry. They're hungry all the time, but it's mainly competitive hunger. They want to get the food before the other ones do. So I'm trying to just pre-position the, the bowls and be ready in all the rooms uh, just to try and make it as efficient as possible. Try and keep the big cats out and keep as many little kittens in as I possibly can. And it ain't easy though. They look at me gone out because I've positioned empty bowls. They, they just don't understand what's going on. They expect bowls to have food in at all times. So uh, here we go. I'm really, 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 really worried about uh, Fletcher. He's deaf, completely deaf, and I think he's also nearly blind, um, which is not helping with him um, feeling secure and happy. I've closed all the other uh, programs that were running on my computer to see if it's going to help with this viewer because it's impossible to to uh, do a, a talk over of a video that you can't see. I could perhaps uh, download the video to my phone, watch it on my phone and then do a, a talk over from there but um, frankly I'm too lazy. The pictures tell their own story anyway, I think. So uh, I'll probably just cut now and uh, play you a little bit of music. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. It's all very hard work here today. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon.